there are roughly 20 independent games releasing each single day. You might make the best game in the world, but you need to show it to your prospective players, or no one will play it. You need to stand out, and to stand out, you need to do something unique, something no one did before, or at least few people tried. Something like a physical edition. But making your game appear in real world is no cheap task. At least not if you ask other people to do it for you, and you just need few dozen boxes. That's why I opted to make them myself. Let me show you how I did that, and what choices I made along the way. Subscription not detected. Subscribe for new content notifications. I have a 3D printer, and as they say, once you wield a hammer, all your problems tend to look like nails. I didn't want to just use it to emulate something that could come from a printing house, but to take advantage of its unique capabilities. That's how I came with idea of this contraption, with moving gears and spinning asteroids. But the box, pretty as it might be, is just a container. I needed to put something inside. This is when I realized I'll do a lot of full color printing. All from covers to booklets needs ink. And your average printer won't cut it. I got myself one of these machines with big, external tanks. Which you can refill really cheap. Your choice of paper matters a lot. You need a paper that can absorb enough ink for vivid color. If you want something that looks like a photo, you need a photo paper. Nothing says game more than a game this case with a nice cover. I used online Google Docs to make the images. It seems like a strange choice. But it allowed me to quickly share my idea with team on other continents and quickly fix many mistakes. I printed the cover image on thin, glossy folded paper with grammage of 120. And they turned marvelous. Just insert that into an empty CD box and you are ready to go. Delta V is distributed digitally. So the disc inside contains our soundtrack instead. I printed the art on CD stickers. And this is how it turned out. Printing a book is not difficult, but there is a trick to it. You need to print two pages on one sheet of paper. The order is fourth and first on the one side, and second and third on the other. This way, when you fold it, you'll have the pages in order. Printing two pages at once manually is essential if you want to have art across the pages. To actually bind the book you need something to keep the pages together as you glue it. I 3D printed my book binding jig, but you can easily create one with few nuts, bolts and pieces of wood. Fold all the pages in half, stack them on top on each other and put it into the jig, with spines facing outward. To glue the pages together I use 3M double sided tape. It's easy to use and strong enough to hold the paper in place. It will allow your booklet to open fully, which is important for our books. I print the cover on thick, glossy folded paper and glue it in using other side of the tape on our spine. The final step is to trim the book to correct size. I use rotary cutter for that nice, smooth finish. And there you are. Your very own soft cover art book. Next time, I'll show you some nice gadget ideas. Subscription not detected. Subscribe for new content notifications.